All right, well, since you're here, how long are you hanging around for? Because that will skip over a lot of the stuff that I was going to show. Um, um, at this point, it's going to be if the flu medication starts kicking in. Oh, yeah, righto. Well, let's go into this one. This is Nick Ricada shouting out Gator's tweet, which is talking about your mm. video. Then we're going to go into mm. your first video, and if you want, you can stay around and talk about it, um, or for okay. reasons why not. All right. Well, let's have a yeah. play. I'm just, I'm just harmlessly perusing the internet, Twitter, innocently, and I come across a tweet from uh, Jim. Well, not Jim. Jim's friend, Mr. Anti-Bully. People brought up Ricada and someone he was arguing with getting outed for weird stuff. How to, no, Jim language. Anyone have links to what that was about? Gator had a handy post that I hadn't seen here. And it says, uh, Thidran's former best friend, John Kelly, who has been going at Ricada and Vic supporters and passive aggressively trying to get your attention for months, got outed by Spectre and Kiwi Farms for posting about touching his kid sister on a pedo forum. And let's... Uh, here we actually have the screenshot because it always helps to have the receipts. Oh, it's not letting me zoom in more than this on the actual picture. How annoying is that? I hate everything about this, but okay, I'll read it. It's in really tiny print. I hope you guys can see it, but it says, I don't want to go into too much detail right now. But a few years ago, I ended up doing something I am ashamed of with my younger sister. I don't know if she remembers it, and I'm afraid that she'll tell my parents. It was a moment of weakness, and we were both young. This is allegedly John Michael Kelly. I want to point this out. This is allegedly John Michael Kelly. Both of us were under 16, and she was younger than me by a bit. By a bit. Not sure what the bit is. I'm sure she's still the same bit younger than him uh, that she was. I was curious. I want to seek help because I've been feeling something else over the past few weeks thinking about her. And I'm scared of what this could mean. That is, that is allegedly the account of John Michael Kelly. Spectre has done a video on it here. Uh... I'm not going to watch the whole video. I have no idea what it says, but it's re John Michael Kelly's chickens come home to roost. So if you guys want to... Has no idea what it says. <laughs> Just making that clear. Check out Spectre Speaks video. You can see here what he has to say about it. Uh, it's. I can put the link in the... Maybe I should put the link in the description. Try to do that real quick. Uh, Spectre's video on JMK. There you go. That is well. Anyway, he shares it to the um, shares it to the stream. You would say that was quite good for you, Spectre, because he shouted out your video and all of that. Um, but clearly hadn't watched it. Does say allegedly. Does say allegedly. So. <laughs> Yeah, Nick Nick hadn't watched it. He wasn't even active in his Discord that day, so uh, there was no way he could have seen it beforehand. Mm. And did you DM um, it to him or anything like that? Or? No, I didn't. I think I linked to it in in the Discord. I'm I'm pretty sure I showed it. Um, I know I showed it in Gator's Discord, and I showed it in I think yours. I'm pretty sure I did it in yours. Yeah, you added it. Um, yeah, and, and you were you were actually. Yeah, you were you were amongst the people who said you really need to prove that this account, uh, you know, you really need to show how this account belongs to JMK. Yeah, and that's what led to the second video. Yeah, but like I I linked to it, and there were a couple of people in Nick's Discord in the voice chat specifically who were like, uh, you know, oh, you you you. I think it was Corono. Corono's the one who sent it to Jim and he sent it to, I 
think yellow flesh. Um, I did end up getting a thing from a guy who claimed to be um, like uh, a, a news gatherer for that umbrella guy, Tug. <clears throat> but I told him to piss off because I'm not dealing with Tug ever. Um, but like I didn't shop this out outside of, you know, linking it on Twitter and linking it in those channels. All right, well, let's um, have a quick look at the f the actual video that he's referring to, and then we'll get your take on it. Because um, mm -hmm. then that way I won't need to play the VC or anything. You're here, so. It's fine. Go over it. Kill, kill. Over the past year, I've put out information, and I've done my best to validate and accurately provide everything I can in order to substantiate any claim I make because I don't want it to be a wild accusation or a rumor. I don't like starting them. That being said, this one is a bit different because I've been able to confirm some things, but I haven't been able to confirm others. Right now, over the past couple of months, an individual named John Michael Kelly has been very vociferous in going after Nick Ricada, myself, other members of I Stand With Vic. And he's kind of gotten a little traction because Kick Vic personalities such as Mars Girl and Manjaw follow him. You also have Martin Bedick, etc. I posted about this in the previous video. And because he was providing screenshots, they overlooked his homophobia, his bigotry, his racism in order to kind of counter Nick Ricada. Well, in August, I was made aware, right after he started his little thing, of some posts that he had allegedly made, and I wasn't sure about them to begin with. I didn't know who, who was who, I didn't know anything like that. And I held on to them, but over the last month, month and a half, I've made mention of JMK and pedophilia. And I've, instinct I've, I've intentionally put those two together to see his reaction, and each and every time, despite his very vociferous and very willing rejections of things he claims are lies, the deflection from them, or just screaming, you're a liar, he's intentionally ignored this and tried to shut it up. And so I started to take that at face value. But All right. So um, do we, qu I just would like to quickly go over that specter. So, because that was the one thing that you sort of based your decision off and well that's what you told me i don't want to put words in your mouth where you said that you didn't like his reaction when you called him a pedophile because usually he will say that's not true and deny it is that what like what do you mean he's by his reaction he's very quick to launch denials and deflections of things that he says are lies um and it doesn't matter who says it he he is Focus whenever I say something, he'll very quickly jump in to say, you're a fucking liar. Uh, Nick says something, you're a fucking liar, stuff like that. And then this was like the one thing, and I would tag him, and I would make mention of it, and he'd simply ignore it. And that kind of that kind of got the nog and jog in, if you will. Um and that when I say that I didn't like his response, it's not that I didn't like that he wasn't spurging out. It's his lack of a response was vastly different to responses for other things that people say, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I guess. Well, <laughs> it's your video, so. Um, all right, well, let's keep on going. But I started to dig a little deeper because there were some things that I figured I should look into. And I ended up contacting the FBI about this. Now, the FBI says that they can neither confirm nor deny that the forums this post allegedly comes from actually existed and that they took it down. I would have to submit a Freedom of Information Act request. I don't know why. It's either a yes or a no to get any information that I want. That can take six months to a year. That being said, I have been able to confirm independently that these forums did exist and roughly around 2014, they were party then. That's the best I can come up with. There's no Wayback Machine. There's no archive. Nothing. I've put the text in this 
into Google and it just shoots back nothing. It doesn't exist. So so how did you verify? Do you want to just clarify how you verified that it was a website? And anything you want to um, say about the freedom of information thing? I know that can be somewhat limited. Yeah. Yeah, that See, this is where I actually have to phrase things properly because again, uh what happened this week? Um a couple of people did who is very basic who is to check on domain names, registration, stuff like that. And then there were a couple of other things that were done behind the scenes. Um, I don't pretend to know what they did. I don't pretend to, you know, and I'm not going to say, oh, this is what they did because I simply can't explain it and it, it wouldn't be doing it justice. Um, but the forums at the very least did exist up until about 2014. And whatever happened to them, nobody seems able to really tell. Um, as for the FOIA, there is a FOIA in. However, um, the Department of Justice has the ability to refuse to answer a FOIA, and they can cite uh, pretty much an exception clause uh, stating that there is either an ongoing investigation or foreign counterintelligence, stuff like that. So depending on the response or non-response I get to my FOIA request, because they have to say we're in receipt of it and this is our response. Mm. That's going to really determine, you know, that's going to point fingers, if you will. All right. So, uh, and what do you think it has in, re do you think this has anything in to do in relation to John Kelly himself, or is it just, you don't know what's well, happening? Be before we, move on from here this already sounds like bullshit oh you have, i i you don't have anybody you don't you you say you spoke to people behind the scenes you don't know how but they verified that this website actually existed i and don't ended on a very it, on, in 2014 mm -hmm. you don't have any screenshots of anybody saying anything about 2014 you don't have and and you yourself could not find any evidence that this actually existed Right. At this point, it's just you hearing shit from other people. And the way that you're already describing the FOIA and the way that you described it in your video is already setting it up so that if you don't get a response, oh, maybe he's under investigation. Right. And that's that's the problem with this is there's a there's a lot of there's answers that can make it look like i'm trying to weasel out of things as i said i can't explain what they did to confirm that this forums used to exist only because i don't understand the technology behind it i know that uh, a couple of people on nick ricadas did a who is and they they were shot back with yes these exist they were registered gave a list of registries names and stuff like that and after 2014 i guess it was owned by it's been owned by some shell corporation or some shit like that. I don't know. Um, I'd have to, I'd have to look it back up, but the, the problem is, is that when you make some, when you say something like this, there's always going to be responses that are going to look like you're just trying to weasel out. You wanted to slander the guy. That's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I do. Well, um, that's exactly what this looks like. And there's another right. underlying theme that is kind of, the, the focal point of these videos and mm. it's tying him to kick Vic mm. which is no, and, and, completely and that's... fucking absurd to me why would you even bring kick Vic up or try to tar kick Vic with this same brush when you're making a video outing somebody as an incestual pedophile an well... incestuous pedophile like that's that is <laughs> Like there's your motive it, right there to make. Well, this when it comes right down to it, video. you know, I Kick Vic does this thing where Who they gives a fuck about Kick Vic. That's my point. And why are you asking? Who about, gives a fuck? Up? You brought it why up. Are you, you asking you made about it? The, you made it the focal point of your video. It's not the focal point. It's mentioned, yes, and it's mentioned specifically because this is the allegations that have been made 
the, you know, this is the this is a thing where they go, we don't support pedophilia, but you guys do because you had a pedophile who claimed to be with, you know, who claimed to be a supporter of Vic Mediana. And then you have something like this, you or you have Sarah uh, Weidenheft, whose brother pled no contest to possession of child pornography. Who gives a fuck? Why does this matter? Why does it relate to this because video that you're making about a dude calling him an infectious pedophile with a screenshot because, of a form that you can't find the existence of? Because at the end of the day, it, it was a question of the... How do, we, how do we put this? What it comes down to is... This is the kind of stuff that is going on behind the scenes with Kick Vic, where you have stuff like this happening, and it's just an another ember on the fire, you could say, where you can point to this and go, as much as you're saying that we do this, here's what you guys are supporting, they don't and know here's that. what's going on. <laughs> are you say are you trying to accuse them of harboring pedophiles in their movement? Because Kick Vic, you're absolutely, the one that's exposed this. <laughs> are you saying that he's a known pedophile and only kick I wouldn't people say, know this and they're harboring him? I wouldn't say known pedophile, but again, uh, the, <laughs> what rookie, do you mean? the rookie thing, the rookie thing. Nobody knew rookie was a pedophile up until he was completely doxxed by Kiwi Farms. And when that was put out, a lot of individuals on Kick Vic were saying, oh, you guys were supporting a pedophile you knew he was a pedophile beforehand. So, so you're doing the yeah, same exact thing to them that they did to you. It was kind of, it, yes and uh, no. Uh, what you don't uh, agree with, what you had an issue with when they did to you, you're doing to them because it's politically convenient. It's, <laughs> I mean, that's a, a fair way. To, you got that's a from fair God way to, knows who. It's a fair way to look at it, but at the same time, it's. You know, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. If people want to play by a certain set of rules, they can't bitch I about see. those rules when it's turned around onto them. I mean, if you if you want to if you want to set up rules, you can't then turn around and go, I don't like the rules because they're being used against me. So making uh, attaching John Michael Kelly to kick Vic. You know, John Michael Kelly accuses me of uh, aiding and abetting uh, you know, federal felonies, wire fraud and the what and, and um, you know, and, and what they accuse Nick Ricada of doing the wire fraud and stuff like that. And then you turn it around on them and it's like, uh, no, you can't do that to me. Hitting hammering at home. Kind of giving them a taste of their, own, you know, kind of giving them a taste of their own medicine serves a purpose of, OK, maybe they'll learn from it not likely i'll fully admit this it's not very likely they will but at the same time it kind of shows how hypocritical what their response is is it hypocritical of me to do the same thing absolutely but you know i can accept it's hypocritical i will freely admit it's hypocritical so where did you get Dude. that post from I mean, you've, I already know the answer to this, but um, it was sent. It was sent to me by someone on Twitter. From Plate? Uh, their account has since from Plate. I I don't think it's Plate. I okay. Yeah. Uh, as far as I know, it wasn't. It wasn't from Plate. Oh, okay. It's just. Oh, well, that, that's what you said one other time. So. I don't oh. Know. All right, so what... Wait, 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 wait. I said that? Because I've never dealt with plate. God damn it, now I have to find it. Um, call the Spectre. Let's try it. People don't know shit about him. Gricada bullshit. Mm. And it came it came from somebody, I believe they were in Plate Gang, but they said they were looking into it. They're pretty sure this is John Michael Kelly uh, under one of his pseudonyms. And, you know, hold on to it because you never know. There you go. That's why I asked, Jess. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I got a couple of 
I got a couple of screenshots, like six of them. Three of them I just they they were shopped and I just threw them out. Um, mm. The other three, I uh, this was the only one that I ever said. Okay, this might have something to go with it. Uh, I as I said, I don't think this one came from plate. Some of the others could have because I know that he's pissed off some people in plate, but. None of them rose to the level of pedophilia. It was just stupid shit. Who did you get them from? I'd have to. I'd have to go on and look. So you, you don't even. Know, it's not even someone of note. No one that you I know. No. Random, you got it from. You got this from a random fucking person. Back in August, yes. All right, so let's talk about the connection to... Because basically this video just shows this one post. It is from a UJ Dalius. Is that... That's who it is? UJ Dalius, yes. Dalius. And the connection is that John Kelly used to use that username. Uh, if you go to his uh, actual YouTube page, he is actually youtube.com forward slash user forward slash UJ Dalius. So that is the con the main connection. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing else. There's nothing else. So basically, you're given the post by someone four months ago, probably not plate. Um, you didn't like his reaction. Did you show him the post when you started calling him and Peter or whatever, or you just didn't like no, his reaction? No, no, I didn't. Time you did it, I didn't show him anything only because it's it's like you put it out there and then he starts losing his shit saying oh they're gonna start trying to smear me as a pedophile and you kind of when it comes to something like this you don't want to deal with the you don't want to put it out there because you know he's gonna say no he's probably gonna make it public and go oh this is gonna you know he's gonna oh. he's gonna say this is the next assault coming and it allows him to start building up a story you know um, well, which is kind of well, only really. Wait, wait, hold on a second. Seven. Hold on a second. You just out of the blue started calling him a pedophile. Uh, I I insinuated. Uh, I yeah. I alleged pedophilia. I never. I never actually came out and said, "Yeah, you're definitely a pedophile." But I would tag. You know, in responses to him, I would make mention of pedophilia, or uh, you know, when when he was trying to get the thread knot people or kick Vic aside with him. You know, you'd make mention of pedophilia, but you'd also, I'd also throw in like Sarah Weidenheft and her defense of her brother with CP stuff like that. So it wasn't a direct, I guess it's better to say it's not a direct allegation. And looking back now that you've put it that way, I can kind of see why he might not have responded because he might've thought I was talking about Sarah or someone, but or that you're just, talking shit on the internet but i don't one of the things that should be noted is i really don't throw around the the claim of pedophile willy-nilly well you've done it Nobody twice fucking... you've done it twice and this you've is done it you've, you've done, done it, it a geek and now you've done it here so um... and you also told ralph and andy that they were gonna get the fucking fbi kicking down their door because they watched well, they... child porn is that not a fair thing to say to them? I would get a lawyer because you literally just watched and disseminated child porn. That was what well, they didn't I said. Watch child porn. Yes, sir. There was absolute. There was it's absolutely audio. child porn on that stream. But be that as it may, say I never accused them of being pedophiles. My response was, Ralph, you need to get an attorney because well, the FBI that, is besides not going the point. to care. That's besides the point. As a, this is all completely. We're going off into the weeds here. Yeah. But yeah. you did accuse you accuse geek of pedophilic behavior. Absolutely. When it was one hundred percent obviously a joke. I saw I even all of this happen live. I was in that Discord. I saw this shit with my own eyes. There is. It is without a doubt that that was a joke. The context surrounding it all obviously made it a joke and i believe my response when i put it out there was i know it's a joke but it's no less creepy all right well let, i'll just read what geek philly said about it well uh he is inspector 
wanted to come on the warpath when we talked shit on COG. He kept blowing up in DMs to get on. Tom to fuck off with it. Stop DM DMing me over and over again while I'm running a show. He got mad, saw the post in the server, then proceeded to clip it completely out of context and took it right to COG to get revenge on me. Lol. I made a joke, then they said their age, and I was like, well, I rescind my comment. Um, he also said, then he took a conversation that I was having with someone else and said that I was making that comment to the tranny. Um, just ask him for his proof. He will show you clearly photoshopped an image. Ask for that image. I didn't ask you for the image, by the way. I forgot. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like to know what image I photoshopped. Uh, the I whole saw that. Thing. I saw that, and you absolutely did. Well, it's the one that you it's gave to Cog that he made lots of streams. And you streams. put it together, I... and you had to make another fucking video. To, to show, show that, context. yes, everything and is in context. With it, with it in context, it was not how you originally showed it. Yes, it was. No, it in was In context, not. it was 100%. Then why click Because it, it was it? claimed. Because Hold there was on, only was three claimed. fucking lines in between those two it, sections. It was claimed by Geek Thulu and Andy that the entire thing was photoshopped, that the conversation itself never happened. Andy's words, the conversation in the ch in the server never happened. Well, I don't know. I, I never heard any say, Andy say that. I Andy just know said what that. I saw. That's actually. I don't know what Andy said. That Andy very well could have lied about that. And the response video was to show that yes, this conversation happened. This conversation friggin' happened. And after that, both Andy and Geek shut up for a bit. I didn't call Geek, Geek a pedophile. Geek never shut the fuck up about. Geek never Geek, shut up. I about never. That. Geek shut up about it for a bit. He banned me from the server and he shut up about it on Twitter. But the point of the matter is that I never called Geek a pedophile for the first three to four months. I didn't. Because my opinion was Geek was not a pedophile. The entire thing was creepy as shit. You know who said he was a pedophile? Cog was saying he was a pedophile. Other people were saying he was a pedophile. I never said that. Uh, I only started saying it. I don't I think Cog said, said he was creepy, yeah. Cog's a cook. Um, yeah. It was okay. Yue and uh, some others. Yue so. pretty much called him a pedophile. Yeah, Yue. Okay. Uh, but did. I never, I never said that Geek was a pedophile up until about December, only because he kept saying, you accused me of being a pedophile. And my response was, okay, I'm just going to use the term pedophile from now on because you just cannot stop using it. Mm. I don't know. I mean, I told you this in the VC straight after the video. And it's that, you know, you basically got one screenshot and that is it. There's not really much connection, and it's just you ranting. And it's, I think, um, sometimes you don't understand the power that a video has. Uh, like when I put out a video, and it's a law video, and something minute is wrong, that's gonna, or people are gonna come at me with what my intentions are, or hey, you got this wrong, so the whole video's wrong, and it really blows up. Like, yeah, you know, right. you have to be ready to stand by that. I, I, I say, okay. It's an interesting point. Yeah, the usernames are the same, but I wouldn't be like if it was my case. There would be no. I might make a post and say, "Hey, this is interesting," but there's no way I'd put that into a video and stand by it, and at the end of that video, start ranting and raving, saying, "This is disgusting. John Kelly should be ashamed," right. and all of this. And that's and that's what the second video was. It was to put together that the UJ Daedalus name. He had been using it, and I believe in Kiwi Farms they were able to establish that he's been using it since like 2011. Mm. Uh, you know, 2011, 2000, like I think 2009, someone said. I can't confirm that one. But like, as you said, you really need to link the name, you know, John Michael Kelly to this screen name. And that's what I did in the second video was establishing that he has used this name, he's used it for close to a, at least, you know, nine years now. Hmm. And that's what the second video is. All right. How, how long ago was Gamergate about what? Five 15, years ago? 16. 15, 16, right? That's when he kind of rose. Yeah. To, that's when anybody knew who he was at all. Right. Right. This, this is 2011, the post. June mm -hmm. 10. And that post is from 2011. That site has supposedly been gone since 2014. Why would somebody 
screenshot that before they even knew who the fuck he was. From what they had explained to me is they were taking screenshots of people on this site. Don't ask me why they were even on the site to begin with of people who talked about actually touching little kids. And I guess this is one of them that came up. Right. And this person that happened to be screenshotting images of people on this site talking just so happened for for some fucking how some fucking way they happened to know about John Kelly a fucking nine years after the fact eight years after the fact I mean, and this could link have been his, somebody. Link his YouTube fucking <laughs> channel name. Uh, well, again, this. he's I been mean, using this on dude, Steam you, since like 2011, I guess. Yeah, so that makes it that much easier for somebody to take a name that he isn't currently using. You know, right, but at the same main, time. As his main <laughs> um, handle and put that on the screenshot. Right, but at the same at the same time, if he's using it since 2011 but he only came to prominence in, you know, 2016 or what what have you. Uh, you know, taking his YouTube username and throwing it on there without doing your, you know, without doing your own deep dive or what what have you would be, you know, if it came out that he never used it prior to like 2016, then you could discount it and say, oh, this is just trying to go after him because they're anti-gamer gate or whatever. Do you see my point, though? No, I, I understand would, what you're saying. I mean, how does that what, what how does what you said make sense? Yes, of course, they're going to use the screen name that he would have had during the same time. It's very easy to fucking see what his uh, Steam screen name was and previous usernames were just by right clicking on his account. <laughs> Have you analyzed this and um, like zoomed in on it to see if it was doctored or had anybody look over it? I, I've I've had one guy um, look at it because after the whole quarter, oh god no, I didn't ask Gator to do it. Um, after the whole quartering issue, I I asked people to do it. I mean, I've zoomed in on Photoshop. I've looked at it. I've tried taking portions and seeing if they line up. It looks okay to me. I mean, it's it's nothing spectacular. But I did have a friend of mine who does graphics design and imaging uh, go through it. He looks. He said, "No, it looks good." And he used as a template um, the forums for MTG Salvation, which uses a very similar to this day uses a very similar background and a very similar setup. And he said it's a one for one match. Do you have this screenshot? Uh, I've got this it up one? on screen at the moment. Uh, well, no, I want to see it I close. Can't I, I can't fucking read that. Yeah, I can't zoom in on it. Um, no, I don't. Yeah. Actually. Well, can you just drop it in the Discord? All right, well, I'll keep playing a bit of this video anyway, where it starts mm -hmm. linking back to Kick Vic and then your little rant at the end. Occasionally get these moderators notes, but if you go to something like Kiwi Farms or something, it's usually a, a note that's in these uh, below the the signature or whatnot, but I'm familiar with this forum's uh, setup. It's generally speaking a, this is the case. That's not it. That's not and I, it would make sense if you look at how he reacts to anybody, oh, shit, I the screen. gay people, minorities, etc. The biggest bigots are the people with the skeletons in their closet. They don't want you to know about. It's not just on the right. It's also on the left, but If this is the case, the one sister we know about, the one we know about, would have been under 10. That's the only sister we've been able to confirm is younger than him. I want you to think about that for a second. He touched a sister that was under the age of 10. How disgusting is that? 
How, how disgusting is that? But he wants to lecture you about degeneracy, ladies and gentlemen. He wants to do his little, his little streams talking about degeneracy. When this is John Michael Kelly, not just a homophobe, not just a bigot, but an incestuous pedophile. As I said, I have done my best to validate everything. And I yeah, so it's, it's basically you saying that he is not just this, not just that, but an incestuous pedophile slamming fists on the table. Mm. It's the sort of, yeah, yeah, it's just the way that you went about it um, with one screenshot, not much else. And then you've got Gator and Nick Ricator and other, <laughs> even Jim talking about it. Nick Ricator on stream. I don't know, man. It's just it's something that can... It would piss me off if someone did the video on that on me like that. Um, right. That's all. I, that's. I mean, I've told you this behind the scenes, so that's my, yes. that would be my only thing with it. Um, mm. And I mean, I understand that you made the second video, but what the fuck went through your head to make this first one and not verify anything, even though you still haven't verified anything? I mean, we. we... I went off of the just community. to be hundred percent clear, you haven't verified shit. There's no proof okay. that this exists. <laughs> you have a screenshot. Oh, and that's and I've said that, and I've said that already. Does it even say on this screenshot what forum this is from? Uh, no. <laughs> I have I have what the URL was. But there's nothing tying this screenshot to that forum. You have a screenshot. Right of a post in a forum. Yeah, I don't know, man. Completely fucking retarded. That's despicable, dude. That's fucking scumbag shit. You're a piece of shit. I'm sorry, you're a fucking piece of, You're a piece of shit. I mean, I do, do, oh, don't get me wrong. John Kelly is a fucking retarded fucking idiot. Yeah, I'll agree to that. Too. <laughs> I would, I mean... Show me some verifiable evidence that he's a pedophile and I'll fucking burn the motherfucker too. I'll call the FBI right now. But you don't have shit. <laughs> you fucking okay. sack of shit, dude. You're a sack of shit. If somebody came okay. to you and accused you of being a pedophile with some shit like this, and then you try to slander a whole fucking movement, this is all fucking politically motivated. It's so incredibly obvious to me. Okay. And now you're talking about, oh, your fucking buddies in the in the fucking FBI are calling you up to tell you that they're coming to your house to have you sign a fucking NDA about this to get you to take down your YouTube videos suck my dick you fucking lie okay you're so um, full of like, shit it's incredible how much can you talk about with that specter or do he you can want talk to... all he wants he never signed shit he's lying do you want me to read out the post or do you want to you should it's it? fucking hysterical <laughs> God damn it. I mean, I'm. It's absurd. It's fucking absurd, dude. All right, so it, it, that's the problem with something like this: is even if even if you have you validate X, Y, and Z, people are still going to say, "Well, did you validate this?" No, I didn't. The UJ Daedalus thing, for example, you didn't validate didn't anything, fucking... dude. You didn't validate a single thing. There's nothing validated about. Even this. if I brought evidence to support X, Y, and Z. Because there's no Google Cache or, you know, this this doesn't exist. And, and this is... You have nothing on this screenshot tying it to that website. Boom! It's done! Just a username, yeah. That, I mean, that's the thing. There's nothing in that screenshot tying it to the fucking website you're saying it's tied to. Besides somebody telling you that it is. And you don't even know who the fuck that is. You, you see how ridiculous this sounds? All right, so Spectre, do you want to explain the FBI stuff, or do, uh, I don't know what is what you want to talk about. So, the the it? FBI thing. Friday afternoon, I got a call from my friend. He's the one who hand delivered my FOIA. Um, and well, fax it, I guess, but whatever. The freedom and of information said, request that you sent to the FBI about yes. because of that post. Just clarifying. Yeah. Yes, I want it specifically. It's asking about the forums, the history, if the FBI did party ban the forums, uh, what's going on with that, and mm. that's essentially the gist of the FOIA. Um, 
but I was instructed or I was told, I should say, that Monday I would be getting a little visit. Um, nothing big. I'm not a suspect or anything, but, you know, you're going to have a couple of agents show up. They want to talk to you about this, what you know, stuff like that. My response was, do I need to have a lawyer present? Him, you know, as, as an FBI agent, I'm going to say no, but you do you. I still had, I had my lawyer show up for it just to cover my ass. Um, essentially, some of the stuff that I found out, yes, is under essentially an NDA. Um, and I can't say more than that. Um, the FOIA request, they asked me to take down the videos themselves. And if I didn't, they had a court order to, you know, if I didn't, one, hand over anything that I had on this case, but also didn't take the videos down, then uh, they were just going to take my laptop, or not my laptop, my desktop, uh, my phone, and my tablet. And they would comb through it to find out anything else I might have on this topic. Right. I don't... My con my feeling from this was that this was not specifically about JMK, but something else, because they never really talked about JMK directly. So what? So, do, yeah. So what do oh, you think? Oh, hold on a second. Yeah. Okay. So they they asked you, just tell us what else you know and and take down your YouTube video, or we're going to take all of your electronics. And find out what you know, yeah. Find out whatever else you might have on here. Does that make any fucking sense to anybody else in here? For, take down your YouTube video, and we website. won't take your electronics. For a <laughs> screenshot that's from 2011? Yeah, I don't know. Because you, called a, because you called a nobody online a pedophile. The FBI Again, came to your door. It's... Had you sign... Not an NDA, Again, but something else. It's Simply not about it. JMK. I specifically just said it was about my FOIA requesting information on this website. I All already, right. I literally just said I got the feeling that it was not about JMK, but about the site as a whole. So the site that isn't tied to the screenshot that you posted. No, this site that is tied to, that is tied isn't, to the screenshot. That isn't tied to the screenshot. How is it tied to the screenshot? Apparently, that's the name that came from the screenshot came from a site I had the URL for. That's what the FOIA was for. So you were trying to get what, like a log of that website or something? I wanted to see once again if. The website had existed and had been party then. You know, if the FBI had taken it down, DOJ had taken it down or whatever, um, then, you know, there should have been some kind of message or you could even go back and check. And we just had a uh, site that was taken down by DOJ, not like last week or something, where there's a splash page saying this site has been taken down by court order. And I can't find anything about that, but the site did exist. So the FOIA was to see, what can you tell me about this site? Did you guys get take it down? Right. Wait, so now it's the site that you got the screenshot from that got taken down by? The site the screenshot is purportedly from. No, no, no. Not the whatever, the what's it called? The uh, look but don't touch. But another yeah. site that had this screenshot not the the post the screenshot on got taken down no the screenshot the the th the site that the screenshot supposedly came from i.e the site that the screenshot originates from so the post the original post that site yes. has been taken down yes so how have you tied this post to that site because there's nothing on that Right. Post that ties all, I can, to the site. all I can say is that the site did exist. That's But there's nothing that that post and, could have been made on any other forum that uses that same exact fucking 
significantly out. Yes, it could have been. So that's why you I have put nothing the, that ties it to that site. That's why I put in a FOIA somebody... request on that site. Can you confirm this site existed? Was it taken down by DOJ? Can you confirm that this post existed? And that was it. That's pretty much the FOIA. Okay. Well, All right, but back to my original point. You had nothing to confirm this. And you ran with this story. After, after the... After the docs of JMK came out on Kiwi Farms, yes, I started to look into it. I sub, I did the FOIA probably about two weeks later and then started looking into this. And I said, you know, maybe there's some validity to this. All right. So how long ago was that? You said you, you got this poster on August. Mm-hmm. John... Uh, Kelly's been doxxed for months now. He was fully doxxed on Kiwi Farms in December. The fuck? You guys are behind the times. No problems. He, he, said- he was never... There, there was apparently a thread that was in the Proving Grounds years ago on him, but he was never anybody specific. It's when he started going after rackets and he started going after, uh, you know, Mignana and whatnot. Uh-huh. When That's the, when the people political. started noting. Right. Yeah, people have known who John Michael Kelly was for a while. Oh, I'm I'm not I'm not denying that. All right. What I'm so, saying that's is that's besides the point. So it got posted in December. So last month his yeah, middle of December. docs was posted on Kiwi Farms. Mm-hmm. You had this screenshot from somebody from August who, correct me if I'm wrong here, told you it was Kelly. Yes. Crybaby Kelly, as I affectionately like to refer to him. And that it came from this site that you've said Mm -hmm. is look but don't touch. I was under the impression it was we look but don't touch, but that one apparently never existed. Look but don't touch is the one that uh, exists, apparently. John Michael or Kelly, existed. welcome Yo. to EJAS. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing hey, well. My... Hey, John, wow. how are you? Doing great. Good to see you, buddy. Awesome. So, <laughs> oh, here's the thing. <laughs> Thank you for both turning <laughs> up. I did invite you both. <laughs> <laughs> I got a couple of questions for Spectre. I'm not really going to talk about much else. Yep. Okay, so uh, firstly, Spectre, <laughs> how many people sent you that screenshot exactly? Uh, one person. So why would you say three in the first video? Uh, I said I got five to sent six this? people who sent me different screenshots. No, you didn't. Two to three, I threw the hell out because uh, here, they were just, very you... clearly photoshopped. Yeah. Here, just can you play the part where he says that it's like three people sent him this screenshot? Oh, I don't know the timestamp. Is it right at the start or? Um, it's towards the beginning, yeah. All right. Let's he see. very clearly said it. Months. An individual named John Michael Kelly. Also, has um, been... did you yourself send the file request, uh, Spectre? Very I did, yes. Then why did you say on Kiwi Farms that someone hand delivered it to the FBI? Because I had my friend hand deliver it. I okay, typed so it up. You sent... I so... signed it. I handed it to him. He Those brought it up to things. his office. Those are two different things. You said you sent not it, really. and then you had someone else really. send it. No, yeah. I'm saying I submitted it. Yeah, it was his friend in the Boston field office or saying. That's how uh, yes. it was explained to me. Why didn't you mention this in the first place? I did. Because he's lying. Fair. <laughs> I'm fairly certain <laughs> I did. Because you're full but... of shit, dude. You're full of shit. I would have remembered that okay. if you said just in like video. just like you got the FBI to sign an agreement where if they don't fucking respond with your FOIA within three months that you're allowed to put your fucking videos back up. If Spectre, they do not respond to it, that I'm is, allowed that to put is it absurd. Back up. Spectre, you realize they're going to sign this that, agreement right? with you on the spot. You may as well rip it up and throw it out because it's invalid. <laughs> if this, if oh, any no, of this happened, Spectre, they need a, said, they need a warrant for that. Thing. Your we have lawyer a shit lawyer, drafted, then. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Kelly, one second. Your lawyer, on the spot, drafted a fucking 
agreement. Because a per- you didn't know that they were going to have you sign this NDA and take your videos down before they showed up. So you had your lawyer draft something since she was at your house, right? She, you had her draft she something. Was present, yes. <laughs> you had her draft something and have them sign it. The field agent sign it on the spot. I didn't have her draft it. I wrote then it. Where'd up. you pull it this from? What do so you mean? So they sat you while you typed up a fucking agreement. Yes. My lawyer looked it over. She said, this looks good. I don't know if it's legally binding, but here you go. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus Uh, fucking Christ, dude. (laughs) Spectre, did you ever take a civics class? They need a warrant before they can take your stuff, dude. Uh, That's what a court order was for. Okay, sure. All right. It's convenient that just now. They just decided not to use it because you... So kindly agreed yeah. to t- tell your you. <laughs> they, 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 yeah, they figured you know, we can do it the easy way or the hard way. Retard, it's dude. Not exactly. Maybe it doesn't work that way. <laughs> it's not exactly so unheard of. Dumb. So, uh, does Spectre, your... got another question. <laughs> it, uh, well, I mean, I... Is this all because your personal friends with one of the fucking agents in the box? In the possible, I don't know. <laughs> that they're being so I mean, generous if, with don't you. you <laughs> don't you think I would have known beforehand that they had <laughs> Sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Uh, I, said I was that. laughing too hard. <laughs> oh, <damn it. laughs> All right, F- I mean, point- FBI donated two dollars. Was it Agent Inzerillo that contacted you? And that isn't how NDAs work. And they would need a seizure warrant. Also, how did have you spoken to your lawyer about coming on streams and other people playing your video? Like, um, uh, I I can't stop other people from playing the videos. Um, <laughs> I mean, hold on, yeah, let me well, try that's this. A good okay, point. Yeah. Uh, ear juice. Please don't play the video. The FBI will get really mad at me. No, fuck you. What's your response? <laughs> but I can't stop what? you from playing the video. Yeah, yeah, oh, I get that. On but the stream. I mean, I on the stream discussing the video. To discuss the exact details of this okay. video. Your presence here alone confirms that you're full of shit, dude. Okay. <laughs> well, that's, 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 why haven't the FBI? Did they, wait, did they just say, wait, take these videos down? But you can make as much fucking content about this, the same exact information as you want moving forward. That doesn't no, that has fact, nothing to do with I this mean, NDA there's... that you signed. Yes, anything I saw in that paperwork that they showed me, I can't speak on. Right. That's then what the would... NDA was for. And I said this. So you stand by that, right? Yes. Okay, so then why were you talking about, oh, I don't think it had to do with John Kelly. I think it had to do with something else. Isn't that breaking the NDA? No. Stating okay. specifically. Okay. Stating okay. specifically. I, I totally let me, you. let me, can, can, stating specifically. Why didn't you go to the Pentagon? I don't about? think no any of the, I don't think I any of this had anything to do with John Michael Kelly, but about the website itself. That's the website that the doesn't exist. And never did exist. You keep bringing up. Like you mentioned the Whois data. Like you can just do this yourself. You can go to a website, whois.com, uh, internethistory.name.net. I did this on stream, the last stream I did. I don't know if you watched or not. You probably did because you're monitoring my comments. But I why really didn't you just. I didn't. I'll be okay, honest cool. with you. I, I really didn't. Someone I else sent you I a think screenshot. I, I, I called had the second part. Like, I mean, I had two people in my Discord DM saying, hey, he's going to do a stream on you. My response was, <laughs> let's see. Uh, so he's doing a stream. Ten people will watch on me. Okay. I don't care. Mm-hmm. And then the response was, all right. And then at 12.32 a.m., I'll snipe it on D Live if I'm on time. How many people watch your stream, Inspector? I don't know. When was the last time I streamed? I don't know. How many views do you usually get on your videos? That's video? the fucking point. I don't know. How many how many views do you usually get on your videos? Let me go check. Well, if you check his gaming channel, he gets like an average of 13 views. Yeah. Sounds um, right. John Kelly, I'll just play this uh, video that you brought up. Um, sure. 
in alphabet soup. Ooh, the federal. alphabet soup part. Let's JMK let's do that. has been in uh, is being okay. investigated apparently by an alphabet soup federal bureaucracy, and specifically because of previous posts he had made. It was previous posts he had made specifically um, about attacking members of the left, the media, and Antifa. From what I understand. Um, the uh, I'm not going to say who it is. It's not the FBI. Excuse me. It's not the FBI, but he is being investigated. All right. So it's alphabet soup law enforcement, FBI, not the FBI, is yeah. investigating you at the moment, John Kelly. It's Did you NSA. know about this, John Kelly? I had I had no idea until Spectre said that in this video. <laughs> uh, Spectre, how do, do you know? Wanna... How do you know this? Spectre. Yeah. Do you want to explain that? Uh, this is one thing I did want to hit you up about. Uh, the alleg the allegation is that he's being looked into along with a couple of people from I guess Burgers and Fries and Gamergate Revolt for having I don't know if it was threatened uh Anita Sarkeesian and Zoe Quinn or if there were talks about going after Antifa. I won't lie, I kinda zoned out when they were explaining it. I just I was like whatever. Jesus Who? Fucking Christ, dude! Yeah, that, that came that from you? somebody on Ra that came from somebody on Racket server. So, well, you should probably oh out that person God. because he's full of shit. Are you listening to the words that are coming out of your mouth? Do you, do you re do you realize why nobody takes you seriously, dude? I mean, I don't care if people take me seriously or not. Well, yeah, you obviously fucking do. You obviously do. Mm. Because you're on this stream right now. And you're sending shit to Nick Ricada for little head pets on his stream. I mean, did I send something to Nick Ricada about this on his well, stream? You're fucking spreading this. You 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 said you put this in in his server, didn't you? You said uh, you I believe shilled I your videos yes, in his me... server. I said I believe I did. The you same guy that you made Twitter accounts for. The same guy that you've been ball washing. And finally, he gave you your little head pat on stream. Exactly uh, what you've I... been looking for. Exactly what you've been doing I didn't since I ever fucking Rackets heard server. of you. Going I around a different e celebs, swinging from one e celebs nuts to another like some sort of fucking faggot Tarzan, looking for any sort of clout. And how are you going to get clout? By going after John Kelly. Who's been going after Nick? Oh, with please, if there were Nick a lot baggagery. of other people who would be oh, a lot yeah. better options if I was looking for clout. Yeah, but you didn't have anybody else that had a fucking retarded goddamn <laughs> screenshot uh, 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 alleging that they were an incestuous pedophile. <laughs> Did you? Because I'm sure you tried to burn other people on shit. I, I scrolled through your fucking Twitter timeline trying to burn Tugs or whatever and his fucking retarded wife. Not like I give an ever flying fuck about any of this gay shit. Right. <laughs> Just to be clear, I don't care. You're all faggots. But you, <laughs> in particular, deserve to be burned at the stake for being a lying faggot. Uh, John, okay. John Kelly, was there anything else you wanted to ask Spectre in relation to this before we go on to the next Spectre? Section? Um, sure. Um, why don't you just go to the Pentagon? You know, General Mattis, General Dumford, those guys. That's what I was going to uh, because you know, is, is it going to be the Zoom? Is it going to be the Zoom thing? Because I've already literally gone over that. Yeah, I've poked the holes in it name? on Cog's show. There's a lot of holes in it. How you changed your name before you became an officer? Is that what you're going to say? Uh, no, after, actually. Yeah, because there's a time that we spoke about it, um, Spectre. In a VC or something, and so uh, honestly, here, I'm more I'm curious. Take... I'm more curious about your um, adult friend finders account. The what? what? I, I'm kind of curious about that one too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. I don't. I wouldn't I've... say shit about it either. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new one. I mean, I had an OK Cupid for a while, but How'd you go? when was the last time I logged? Get the ladies. When was the last time oh, I logged? Shit. The chat? All right. Well, let's play this clip. I think it is. <laughs> oh, you gotta put that screenshot up are because, we, in my opinion, putting, this is more we... valid 
than anything fucking Spectre's shown. Where's the, as where's the playing, screenshot? We're playing where? the Zoom in our group chat. Are we playing the Zoom one? <laughs> Uh, does that have, that has his email on there, I don't want to say that, without Spectre agreeing to it. So, <laughs> Alright, but you see it there. At least there's I mean, a website it's... and an email attached to it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you call, well, okay, it says adultfriendfinder.com account from 2016, username FahiUSMC, I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> okay i mean all right so well it's the same thing isn't it like it's it's basically the same, some old screenshot i'm not gonna stick by that so it's kind of like the 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 screenshot from the pedophile thing so well that's what I'm saying. It's, it's... i haven't verified the existence of this account but <laughs> Mm. I mean, I haven't even verified the existence of this account. Yeah, that's Careful, Eric Juice, you may get a knock on the door by the FBI. Yeah, that's it. That's it. They're coming. They're coming. The well, they're going to come into kidnap your international. Ass. Yeah, come grab me. All right, well, let's play a bit of this. Uh, is it the Zoom one? I think it is. Actually, no, there was a two-minute one that we were watching before the stream. Oh, well, let's just, well, it's, let's just it's play. in the Zoom video. Uh, it's about going 40 to... seconds in. No, it's He's, got the clip. I've... It's got the clip of you talking to Zoom. Do you want just the clip? I yeah, got yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Give me a second. I mean, I'm, I'm really. If it's going to be the Zoom thing, I'm. We don't I'm, have to go through the even... Zoom claims. We can just play the clip. I'm. I'm not even we addressing. Just go over what you said. Again. We can just go over what you said. All right. Let's. Sort is it? Of... Is it the one that I have since corrected and? Well, you've said explained something. Explained exactly what was going on. Well, is it the one where I say? Well, you've, you've is it the one where I say on the kill stream I'm going down to the Pentagon, and then when I went back and listened to it like the next day or something, I was like, oh, now I see what they're on to me about, and I corrected it to explain exactly what it was about. No, well, nobody follows you. So what did you say? All right. Well, I can play um, it. Let's play. So what I what I said the on there was, oh well, well, yeah, for for context, let's play it on the stream. Let's play. Let's yeah, play. Right. Then you can go into. Is Becca gonna come on? Inspector, you have. 30 seconds, sir, to give your take, and don't say I never did anything for you. Inspector, go ahead. All right. So, um, you're claiming GS13SC status, correct, Zoom? I'm sorry, you're really low. You said uh-huh, I believe, yes. Okay, cool. Uh, so you're, you're claiming to be the pay grade equivalent in the civilian government of a light colonel or full commander. You understand. Can't make that it louder, sorry. As an actual government employee, which I am, as an O3E, as a former enlisted captain in the Marine Corps, and my ass is going down to the Pentagon next fucking week for at least a day, and I'm sitting down with Secretary Mattis and Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Dunford, among others, I bring this up to them because we have had such a fucking issue that I have become a mandated fucking reporter that I have to report this entire thing. And if you don't think that they're not gonna fucking subpoena shit, they will hand this shit off to the FBI. They will ship this off to the Intel battalions in Okinawa and fucking at Fort Washuka, and they will fucking drag your shit up because they're not gonna okay. tolerate this. So if you are lying about this, if you are an actual pedophile, stand the fuck by because they are gonna find out and they are not going to fucking take this they are not gonna take this one. Okay. Right. That as an actual government employee, which an actual I, government employee. I am as an O three E as a an O three E former enlisted captain in the former enlisted captain marine Marine Corps and my in the ass Marine Corps is going down to the Pentagon and your ass is going down to the Pentagon. Um, John Kelly, is there yeah. anything you would like to ask about this? Uh, no, I'll just say something about it. Like, Spectre will probably have some retarded defense that will not justify his claims at all. Everyone who's anyone knows the military does not at all work in this way. You don't have to be an expert in the military uh, to understand this. General Mattis is like a respected Marine officer. Like, that might not be something that's common knowledge, but, like, there's no way that a general is going to be talking to some fat, overweight, nobody streamer who has pocket face. Absolutely not. No, absolutely there's no way. not. But you lied. No, 
Yeah, you because did. I corrected it and I said this. No, you still lied. Times. It doesn't matter if you corrected it. You still lied. You lied I to everyone in the kill stream. Exactly what was being talked about. All right, then what, say say what you said to correct. It was me. a it was a two to three day think tank on like, for lack of a better phrase, AR six seventy tech one, which is like the uniform morale stuff like that. And every couple of years they pull in active duty reservists. And they go over it, and that's exactly what it was. I somehow got tasked to be recalled and go over this, and that's what it was. And I've explained this several times. Yeah, but that sounds I mean, nothing even, like what you said on this kill stream. No, at all. as I said. So you lied. That's like, there's no mistake no. here. You didn't make a mistake or an oops so or an uh oh. You made shit up was, to intimidate Zoom, even, and it failed, and it blew up in your yeah. face. So how is and this going to get to General Mattis? And how are you? So gonna... at the end, at the end of it. You know, you usually have the big wigs come in. Normally, at the end of these, General uh, Secretary Mattis or Chairman Dunford, they would have come in. They'd been like, "Hey, guys, thanks for coming in. You know, anything you guys want to say?" That's usually how it goes. That's usually how it ends. You get you get on the plane, you go home. That's usually how it goes, and that's exactly what it was. I don't believe you. Those two stories have nothing to do with one another at all. Hold on, hold on. So the bigwigs come in and and they ask if anyone has anything to say. Or... Yeah, it's like usually so what, it's... you were going to raise your hand and say, General Mattis, um, I got in an argument with a do a streamer online who has uh, some recordings that aren't verified, but um, people are accusing him of being a pedophile. Uh, would you mind looking into this for me? Uh, considering that at the time it was when we had like an Air Force Chief Master Sergeant and a Command Master Chief in the Navy who had been caught with child porn on government stuff and it had been completely brushed under the rug. It had been completely swept aside by higher, <laughs> higher in command. There was, you know, the higher ups, the, the, Joint Chiefs and whatnot said, you know something, we want to know about it, because if your command's going to be doing shit like that, we would rather know about it than have, you know, CNN knocking on our door at 8 in the evening going, hey, what's going on with this? Is that the that part where the they appoint you as a private investigator into some stupid internet fight? Yeah, because he's not military I... or anything. Um... Not anymore, no. Oh, so he was at well, the time? Uh, Zoom, uh, no, Zoom claimed to be a GS-13 SC. Uh, that's, a, that's a government contractor position. Yeah, that's great. And, but what about the part where you claimed that you were personally appointed to investigate this shit, which you did in that clip? I, I would... A mandated reporter. Yeah. Yeah, a mandated reporter just means that you can't turn a blind eye to stuff like that. You have to report it. How does your clarification, quote unquote, address that issue? It doesn't have to. All members it of the doesn't. military You're right. are it doesn't. mandated reporters. <laughs> no, no, you're a reporter of internet rumors of civilians of being alleged, being alleged child pornography, child abuse, stuff like that. Yes, you're. It's no, no, that's not what you said. That's not. That's not what you said. A teacher, or, you know. A firefighter, it's no different. A mandated reporter is a mandated reporter. It just means that you're reporting it's mandated to report something if you hear about yes. it. Is that what you yeah. yeah, but if, that's, if it that's comes not... if it comes out if it comes out later that you knew about it and you either swept it away or did something, there's penalties that come with it. Many times criminal penalties. For example, the um that command master chief I mentioned, uh not only was he thrown in the brig for something that's, like that's great nobody cares years, it's a tangent but... nobody cares it has nothing to do with what you're talking about here okay so but in there you said this has gotten so big i have become i have been I've become a mandated reporter like because specifically because of this like that i was, said was, i am a mandated reporter the yeah, point okay. is the point is is that all members of the military are mandated reporters and this was something that like they actually codified in a dod directive no, like, and... no you said that they made you a mandated reporter because of this. Not because of this. Yes, because yes, of this. That's did. what you said. That this has become such an issue that you yes. are now a mandated reporter 
and you are going to go to General Mattis when you go down to the Pentagon, and he's going to send this over to the I, I don't, to Okinawa I don't and hand it directly to the FBI, and they're going to look into this. Yeah, I said specifically. You are so full of shit, dude. It's so, incredible. So... When the simple I said fact that, that you and all that shut the fuck up, you fucking lying sack of shit. Shut the fuck up, you lying sack of shit. The simple and convicted of shut up, you're a liar. Shut up, you're a fucking like liar. Every member shut of the military the is a fucking mandated reporter. Shut up, that you're what a it fucking is. liar. The simple fact everybody that is you went on that stream and said and then that they have to report it. Proves it's not how much of a lying of sack of shit that you are and that you're willing to be. It's because of people like that that were caught with commands that were sweeping it all under the rug, who are ignoring it, who are trying to protect their own asses, their own careers. And they swept it under the rug and they allowed people to be. This they Mark of Patton is great and all, but you're filibustering. Stuff like them. that. Every talking about nothing that anybody cares about, report. dude. Nobody gives a fuck why did because you you're full of shit. Then why did you ask because about? Because I'm it? picking That's about. I'm picking because... apart the words that you used. I don't care about the fucking story that you try to rationalize with this ad hoc. Because so, you got called out for being a liar, and it's been corrected multiple times. And yeah, I have no not on, deviated from that correction. The what? simple fact that you were willing to go on that stream and say those things the way that you said them. While drunk. Shows how much of a drunk. fucking liar you are. I don't give a shit <laughs> how drunk you are. The what you said was that you were going to the Pentagon and you were talking to General Mattis and you were going to hand this directly to him and he was going to send this over to fucking Intel in Okinawa and he was going to hand it over directly to the FBI. Yeah, you lied. They shipped it over sack to fucking of third shit. Third Div, Intel, and you're a liar. Shut up. Next. Okay. Did that okay, happen? Then, was that going to happen? What am I doing? No. Here, uh, well, what am I doing here? Then? Well, we Damage move, control. That, that's that's the, the point. Week. If the point of this, if the point of this was, I to don't want to hear your fucking backstory behind it. All right, all right. Then have a good day. All right, bye, faggot. Get the fuck out of here, you lying sack well, of shit. Well, hey, 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 hey. Oh, good. Me. Beat it. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck off. God damn it. I hope you burn, you stupid sack of shit. I did warn him that you were going to be on stream as well. So yes. Cause I, I just ripped I all like... of his shit apart. I know. I, I know, ripped I know. all of his shit apart using his own fucking words. He pulled a screenshot that's not even tied to the fucking website. He's sending, supposedly sending in fucking FOIA accounts for. Fuck out of here, you piece of shit. And I am in no way defending you, John Kelly, just for the fucking record, because I think you're <laughs> retarded too. But that's some scumbag shit right there. Yeah, because that's okay. You don't have to defend me. I already defended myself well enough.